we will use various instruments to measure charge in a quantitative way. And one of the instruments that you will see, we will use it often in the lectures that are to come, is called an electroscope. It's a very simple instrument. In general, it is just a conducting rod. It could be aluminum, metal. And at the end are two pieces of tinsel, two pieces of aluminum foil. And often there is a nice knob here. And if I touch this with a charged object, then because this can conduct electricity, this can conduct the fire, as defined by Benjamin Franklin, if I touch it with an object which is positively charged, then this object will become positively charged. If I touch it with an object which is negatively charged, it will become negatively charged. And you see now here these two very light pieces of aluminum foil will repel each other. And so you will see that this shows a certain angle. And the more charge there is, the larger that angle. So that gives us a way of doing some quantitative measurements. There are other electroscopes which are not too different. There's one central rod, and they would have one leaf hanging there. And when you charge that one up, then this leaf will go out. And if the charge is more, it will go out even further. I don't have an electroscope now here, but what I want you to see that if I charge myself up and I hold in my hand these Christmas tree tinsels, that in a way, if I get enough charge on me, then these tinsels will spread out. It's an idea that immediately follows from the fact that you get a certain amount of charge, whether it's negative charge for me, or whether I'm positively charged, that doesn't make any difference. These tinsels will spread out. And of course, the best way I can do that is by charge myself with the Van de Graaff. And as I said earlier, experiments of this nature are not entirely without risk. And so there's always the possibility, of course, that I don't survive this demonstration. But don't worry, because in that case, there will be someone else who will lecture 802, except he is not likely to show this demonstration again. <laughs> so you might as well take a close look, because this may be the only time you'll ever see it. So I will give you some nice light on the Van de Graaff. And It's always a scary moment for me. Sleepless nights about the Van de Graaff. Am I going to turn it on, Marcos, or you have uh, the, the courage to turn it on? You will turn it on? Okay, hold it, Marcos. This is too close for comfort. You ready? Are you nervous? See you. <laughs> so look at the tinsels. And try not to look at me, please. <laughs> Go ahead. I am now a living electroscope. <laughs> if, the, um, if the weather is cooperating today, and if I had long hair, you might even see that my hair would start to act like an electroscope. We can try that too. Why don't you throw it?
Is it working? <laughs>